Hello, I'm Scott Humphrey, CEO of the World Floor Covering Association, and this is Leadership Live. If you have tuned into many of these Friday talks, you'll know that one of my pet peeves are leaders that think they have to be the most important person in the room. Leaders who think they are leaders because of their title or because of their last name. Leaders who feel like they have to control the conversation in a meeting. I want to give you some tips to success when it comes to leaders because ultimately, leaders will be evaluated by the quality of the people that follow them. Let me say that again. Leaders will be evaluated. They will be remembered. Their legacy will be impacted by the quality of those who follow them. So what is important as a leader? Well, first of all, it's important to surround yourself with people that are smarter than you. Now, many leaders are intimidated by people that have intelligence in areas that they don't have. So they feel like they have to be the smartest one in the room. In fact, they embarrass or put down other people in the room that may come up with creative ideas because they're not their own. That's just an inferiority complex. That's people that feel like if it's not theirs, it's not good enough. Good leaders, great leaders surround themselves with people who are stronger than them. They have the ability to create loyalty among followers even though those followers may be smarter in key categories than the leader themselves is. Secondly, surround yourself with doers. Last week I talked about the need for action in leadership. You want to surround yourself with people that don't constantly strategize, they don't constantly plan, they don't constantly analyze, but they have a tendency toward doing, toward action, toward getting it done. And ultimately, the third thing is you want to surround yourself with winners. The best way to determine someone's future performance is to evaluate their past performance. And so find people to put around you who are winners. Build winners. Invest in people that you see qualities and skill sets that you think you can utilize and you can help them to raise it to the next level. But surround yourself with winners. One of my favorite stories about that is Coach Suge Jordan, who coached the Auburn Tigers from 1959 to 1975. He's a phenomenal coach, a legacy not only in Auburn, but in SEC football and really in all college football. The story is told that once Suge Jordan had contacted some former players and he had heard about a high school player that was pretty good and he wanted someone to go and evaluate them and get back to Suge Jordan and let him know, is he worth us offering a scholarship to? So he calls this former player and the former player says, well, coach, what do I look for? And he said, well, son, you know, there's that player that you hit him, you knock him down. He just stays down. And the former player said, well, coach, we don't want him, do we? No, we don't want him. But there's that player that you hit him, you knock him down, he gets up. You hit him, you knock him down, he gets up. You hit him, you knock him down, and then he stays down. And the player goes, well, coach, we don't want him either, do we? He said, no, but son, there's that player that you hit him, you knock him down, he gets up. You hit him, you knock him down, he gets up. You hit him, you knock him down, he gets up. He just keeps on getting up. And the former player said, so that's who we want, right, coach? And Suge Jordan said, no, we want the guy that keeps knocking them down. Listen, if you want to be a winner as a leader, put winners around you and give them the opportunity to excel, to shine. Because as they shine, you look stronger as a leader. Don't be intimidated by greatness. Attract greatness. And then go out there and lead.